Jason Allen with the Downtown Podcast here at the New York Festival. That's right. Uh, we're here uh, with some very important people from the 49ers organization. That's right. And uh, they, they have just won an award for the 49er Fan Faithfuls. That's right. Everyone who's faithful to the 49ers, they did a documentary about it. It's amazing. So how does that make the fans feel? So the faithful uh, piece that we do um, is an amazing piece. I mean, honestly, we traveled uh, probably, I, I want to say that we've actually tackled 26 states in the last two years uh, to sort of create, you know, little pockets of fandom. Um, but the residuals of traveling to all of those, um, all those states and, and actually different countries as well, um, unbelievable. We have we can drink for free in about 26 cities, which is huge, which is huge. And if you don't know what that's like, it's unbelievable. Eat for free, sleep for free. And um, I'm trying to think, what are some of the other, what are some of the other cool things that we're able to, plus we get to go to, we, we got to go to Alcatraz and, and almost sleep over on Alcatraz. Oh, wow. It's really better for us than them, if we're just being honest at this point. This is just a pretty good gig, right? That's right. That's right. Wow, well, that, that's that's pretty amazing. So, so t tell me, um, as far as the 49ers this year, you got you got Chip Kelly over there, right? Chip. All right, how, how do we feel about that? Okay, I'm going to take that one because my former team was the Philadelphia Eagles. So I was with the Eagles for 14 years, uh, 14 seasons. Moved over to the Kansas City Chiefs for three. Both great stints. Love those teams, but not as much as I love my Niners for sure. And I got to be honest, I was a little worried about Chip. I was worried because um, you know he had come from a team that basically ousted him. Um, met him in the lunchroom, shook his hand. We ended up having, honestly, about five or six unbelievable things in comparison. And he has treated us amazingly. And that's on camera. He's treated us amazingly. <laughs> Plus, he's a huge military fan. We are military as well. Um, and uh, our families are military. So um, you know what? I, I just honestly wish it was September right now because I'm, I'm ready. To, I, I want some apologies from some folks. That's what I want. <laughs> I, I agree. I, th I think a lot of us are looking for those yeah, apologies yeah. as well. <laughs> you know, all the friends that razz us and say, Oh, the Raiders are going to be better, and they're like, "Oh, come on!" You know, we, we may give up 35 points this, you know, this year a, a game, but I think we're going to probably put up 42. So I, I'll take those odds all day long in Vegas, no less. <laughs> that's a solid offense yeah. you're, you're working with there. All right, that, 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 that's that's good stuff. Now, now we talked to David Hill earlier uh, with uh, with Fox Sports and and things like that. Um, uh, how do you feel about the way that he's changed the game with the technology and and, and the and the like the first down marker and the scores and all of that? I'm actually going to let Will Blackwell, my director of production, take that because he's way more nerdy than me. Uh, all right. All right. The way more nerdy. <laughs> uh, yeah. So uh, all the work that David Hill did, uh, honestly, it's changed what uh, we do, not only on TV, but also in our stadium show as well. As we try and, like, you know, bring stats and information to our fans, that's what they want. And, you know, it's uh, the sky's the limit as... Uh, he was talking about in there, you know, it's it's rock and roll and we like it. Ah, that's that's great. So so um and also what one thing you know we like to kind of discuss is is the possibility of, of the future of the game um, and, and things like that. So how do you guys feel about the possibility of like drones filming games in the future or uh, some sort of live streaming online? You know, I, I know that's that's a that's a huge gray area right now. You're you're right on the money. Actually, uh, one of the reasons we're out here is uh, we're doing a ton of VR, um, not not nearly drones or, or streaming, um, which both of those things I think are in the works. Uh, there's there's certainly talks about them. Uh, unfortunately, Levi Stadium, which is one of the most technologically sound stadiums on the planet, is about from a stone's throw, a half a mile away from San Jose Airport. So drones not allowed <laughs> to fly. Uh, looking to change that legislation as soon as possible. But um, you know, VR is going to be a huge point. It's going to be a huge point of what we do in the next uh, in the next year we're already doing it one of a very few pro teams that are doing it um, and you know I think one of the biggest things that people don't know is that stadiums now are not the way they were 20 30 years ago a lot of them are built in superstructure like Levi Stadium where it's 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 actually built with 40 times more fiber than most stadiums uh, literally more more Wi-Fi capacity than like Los Angeles outrageous um, so that allows us to do things that we were never able to do before things that we were hamstrung as directors producers executive producers um, a lot of people aren't hamstrung by the actual bandwidth, it now becomes a weapon in the arsenal to bring cool things to the fans.
That's a, the, yeah, that, that's that's quite amazing. It, yeah, it's amazing these new stadiums. It, you know, even Yankee Stadium has that. You, you know, because they're old stadium, they're like you can get internet. Well, I'm now. amazed my phone turns on, but the things we can do at the stadium are unbelievable. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 pretty it's pretty crazy. You know, all the things that, that you can do in a stadium now. You know, because it's it's all about that that immediate you know connectivity and and you know sports writers are writing like on the dot and you know updating. So it's it's quite it's it's quite astonishing. So um so as as far as has um has your stadium goes it, so how, how old your stadium is it two years now it's two years yeah it was uh, our first game we've actually only had uh, 20 games there in essence wow and it's holding up well it's it's it is brandy spanking new like we want to put some some championship dents in it like you know <laughs> what i mean it's too new we want to play more games a year can i say that out loud we want to play 12 to 13 that would be great yeah yeah i mean you, you want whole field throughout the playoffs that's what we're looking for when the super bowl's at your stadium and you're not playing in it it's like watching your girlfriend make out with george clooney you just don't want it's <laughs> you know it's no good, it's no good. <laughs> you don't want it but at the same time you're like well it's kind of cool right, right yeah for about five seconds, and then you're like, "Damn it, George Clooney!" <laughs> oh, George Clooney! <laughs> well, that, that, that's amazing. So, so now, now, spin back, Natalie. Spin back. Go backwards.